Hmm. You know, no matter where I look, I can't find paradise anywhere. Maybe you should try this game to find it. No, I I shouldn't have tried that. That was a mistake. You hang in there, son. Food's in the fridge as always. Keep this place in check, all right? I will. I'm sorry we had to leave again, Colin. But at least we got to see you today before we go. What? I understand. You need to work hard to keep us afloat. That's right. It's a difficult time, but we'll get through it. And one day, things are going to be all better. We'll make sure of that. So I guess the building's looking like crap wasn't just a coincidence. You should keep eating more, you little scamp. Those breads were going quick for a while. I thought you hit a growth spurt. Take care, son. Bye, Dad. This is like a 1920s famine or something? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna check on the radio. Yeah, see, I'm not really sure of a time... I'm sure... Let me bring it up. See, it shows this timeline of his life, but no context for era for years, you know, in the present time we're in the far future by a certain degree, but I don't really know how far in the past this is. And now back to Rudog, the red-nosed corgi! Hey look, you're on TV! Say something! That's not how I remember the show goes at all. She saw the show, huh? I guess they both did. Yep, Colin loved watching the show. And it oh yes. Huh, yeah, it's funny, I was playing as her and now I switched to him for whatever reason. Uh what? Here's he's jumping on the bed. Come on, Rudog, you can jump too! Okay. Hmm, I'm not sure what else I'm gonna find around here. This is... What is this white thing with an orange on it? It's like, you know what I'm referring to, I just don't know what that's supposed to be. Locked? Yeah, at least it didn't open. I guess I'll go back upstairs. Yeah, maybe the, uh, doing this will give a context for what was going on. Whoa, jeez. Okay, he tripped and fell. Is he dead? If he's dead, how can we be here decades later? Maybe it's his twin. Dude, too soon. Well, actually, I guess it's been a while. A long while? But still, not cool. Eh. Okay. So nothing too out of the ordinary here. Ah, so he fold the paper airplane from that book. What the? Isn't this already the furthest memory back? Yeah. Huh. Hadouken! 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 Kamehameha! Oh, Command it, Kamehameha didn't work. Wait, I just realized something. Hmm? A few memories ago at the Sigmund signing house. Ah, uh, here we go. And the boss said he'd put his best people on this case. This was like ages ago, Neil. But he didn't actually mean us, did he? Because Colin was originally assigned to Roxanne and freaking Rob! 
freaking Rob! Yeah, let it go, man. That is utter bull! Okay, calm down. No! I am rage! I like that phrase. What? Ah! Hey! Kamehame, ah! don't interrupt me! Hadouken! Now that is all kinds of ironic right there. Wow, you've really moved up to getting sued by two IP simultaneously. Sorry, Eva. I just can't have you go on thinking I've gotten tamed. You could say you brought that upon yourself. No, Neil. I really wouldn't say that. Very nice. So I want... Wait, don't I want the green book? I can't do that, and I can't do that. So... I can do now. I guess I can do it like that. Uh, yeah, this puzzle's kind of acts weird, but eh, you know it works. You can make it work. All right, let's see where this goes. Yeah, that's a good question. What? Boy, this seems wrong. And we're back to old age. Whoa. Atlanta Center, Cactus 135, cruising flight level 360. <coughs> Cactus 135, Atlanta Center, Roger. Altim alt altometer setting 3017, have a good flight. Altometer 3015, thank you. Cactus 135. Well, we've got a nice tailwind going for us. Sir, now that we're in cruise, I just wanted to say it's an honor to be here as your first officer on your final flight. This may be my first time as first officer, but I won't let you down. Eh, it's all good. Rather poetic, really, passing the baton and all. But you should know. As my co-pilot, only, there are only two things I ever wanted to hear from you. Two things, sir? Yep. They're yes, Captain, and landing gear down. You're funny, sir. What did I just say? Yes, Captain. Ah, of course I'm just messing with you. Just remind me of back... When I did my first fly as first officer, that's all. Man, my captain then was a crazy mess. Yes, Captain. Hmm, you know, I just said I was kidding, right? Yes, Captain. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna let my wife and son come in and sit for a bit if you don't mind. It's my last flight after all. They're not gonna get this view again. Yes, Captain. Irene, could you bring my family in? Thank you. Oh, that actually got one. Flight regulations were still so chill back in the day, huh? Eh, times change. That'd be funny. I wouldn't really appreciate it, but that'd be a funny game over screen. You go click on the door. <laughs> Man, I'm not used to being a ghost in this way. Kinda weird. So, what do you two say? One last round? Is it alright with management? Already approved, special occasion and all. You heard him, Ma. Go, go, go! I'm guessing this is going to get as high as 7 at this rate.
So, you gonna miss the views? From the big birds? Sure. But it's not like I'm giving up the sky. No, oh, don't you go rain those small planes. I don't trust you flying in them. Speaking of, I wish they gave you a bigger plane for the last flight of your career. Like one of those monster double-deckers. Ha, <laughs> I asked for this particular one myself. I had my first flight with airline in this. It was a different time back then. A time with lots of peanuts. I miss them so much. You know, Dad. All these years of flying, you never told me why you chose to be a pilot in the first place. Oh, I haven't, huh? Psst. Don't tell your mother, but it doesn't impress a girl. Yeah? Did it work? Sure, I guess. Oh, please. With the way your father acted, I doubt if I doubt he dated anyone at all when we met. Shots fired, Dad. Hey, now, Fia, don't go spreading false rumors in front of our son. I'll have you know that I was quite the stud back in the days. Excuse me. Captain, just a reminder that we're on the record for the black box. Oh, thanks for the reminder. <laughs> Let, let the record show that my biceps are out of this world. No, no, they really aren't. Oh, but they are. When I pulled that yoke on takeoff earlier, I practically lifted the entire plane off the ground. Isn't that right, Peyton? Yes, Captain. <laughs> yeah? Well, let me tell y'all a story about this one time of following a jar of pickles. Okay, we need to maintain a sterile cockpit for landing. Let's get you two back to your seats. Off you go now. Shoo shoo. Sir, we're not landing for another couple of hours. I know. Hey, it looks like you found paradise because you found my channel. I'm sorry for having lied to you.